morning from Jakarta. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and we are sort of headed out for the day. This is probably, I think my fifth or sixth time in Jakarta. And I usually stay in a certain area of Jakarta that's really, really busy. But today we're right in the downtown area. And I think both you and I have been really, really impressed by how modern it's gotten since the last time both of us were here. This is an area called Tanah Abang and it's actually really walking distance to the Plaza Indonesia yeah. and the National Monument Monas. Yeah. So it is really right in the center of the city. And it looks so modern. All the sidewalks have been redone. It's a lot cleaner down here now. And I used to really hate Jakarta. I love Indonesia, but I used to really hate Jakarta. And now I actually really like it down here. Today's Sunday. It's supposed to be just, you know, buzzling. Everybody's kind of hanging out and yeah. having a good time in the old town. We're actually going to head out to do a little bit of work this morning. So that's yeah. what we're going to do now. But first, we need coffee. Coffee first. Like Michael said, there's a lot of work done in the sidewalk just to incorporate all this blind uh, spot. Not the blind spot, I guess. Pathways for the blind people. The pathways for the blind people. But if you look just right behind me, it just run into a table. So the beauty of Indonesia. <laughs> of course, one of the best parts about Indonesia is that no matter where you go and no matter what time you go there, you're always going to find people on the street cooking and you cannot go hungry here. All you have to do is walk outside your hotel or wherever you're staying. And within two minutes, you'll be near someone who's cooking something delicious. And the best part is that you can probably get it for less than $2, a full meal. And if you just want a snack, you can get something for 50 cents or less. In Jakarta, you can see behind me here on the sidewalk, all the way down, you'll see people cooking everything from nasi goreng to satay to porcadel and all kinds of delicious things. Well, this is an interesting day in Jakarta. We are in the middle of the whatever Tamrin Street. I think this is a major, major street in Jakarta. And then it's a car free day. Yeah, mostly car free, at least on the main street. They do stop uh, the pedestrian traffic every now and then to let the cars go by. But you can see just like thousands and thousands of people out on the streets. Running, biking, walking, playing. Yeah, we have something similar in Atlanta called Atlanta Streets Alive. They shut the streets down like a few times a year down in downtown Atlanta to just make it a pedestrian day. And they look like they have something similar here. Everybody's out getting their exercise. This just got me into the mood, so plan B for me. Uh, while Michael's gonna be working, I'm gonna go back to our hotel and I'm gonna change into a running clothes. And it is actually a great morning to do a run. Have fun working and drinking coffee, Michael. I'm gonna be out here. All right, I'm all dressed up and now we're gonna start running while Michael's probably just gonna hang out here and filming. But one word to describe what I feel now is homo, I think. <laughs> the fear of missing out. I think mostly also because I'm jealous of seeing all these people being active and be exercised. So I'm gonna be, you know, now officially one of them. See where this is gonna go all the way and then maybe all the way back to the Bundaran HI, so the, the big statue that we saw last night. Just gonna get some exercise along the way. Bye bye. Personally, I could never run in this, but I think what keeps Halif motivated is that he's using this app. Well, he uses RunKeeper, which integrates with an app called City Strides. And City Strides is an app where you run around and try to get as many streets in as many cities as possible. So that keeps him uh, motivated. Put a link to City Strides in the uh, description just in case anybody's interested. I think it's free, so I'll let you do that. Maybe it'll motivate you to get out running too. I am not motivated because this is way, way, way too humid for me. It's not even one city block and I'm already uh, sweating to, uh, we call it the uh, Sebutir Jagung. So I'm pretty sweaty now. But of course, even though the uh, Tamrin Road is closed, the intersection roads are not, so we have to stop every single intersection. All right, here we go. I think that's the plan today. I'm gonna do the run all the way to Monas, which is the national monument, then head back towards uh, Bundaran HI, which is the Plaza Indonesia is located. So it's a quite a long run in the Jakarta heat. Good Lord, it is so humid. 
It's a good run so far, although this whole area is basically uh, car free anyway. Uh, the normal day, but especially on Sunday, it's so many people out here, but it's a great time. So we're gonna approach the National Monument here and head back towards Michael. Sweating like crazy, but it is definitely uh, not a cold day in Jakarta, which never is anyway. It's not so often in one day you can see two uh, Jakarta landmarks on foot, but here I am today. I saw Monas and also this statue uh, in the middle of the Plaza Indonesia. And it's been a good day. It's been a good day for sure. It's a great run. I did like four miles, I think. And it's just so humid out there. It was actually nice to come into the Starbucks and get like some air conditioned area because I'm about to pass out probably from the heat. But it's a great run, absolutely. Yeah. 